an all-day expedition to a place called Cinquaterra. It is a region composed of five very small Italian villages, and each one has its own atmosphere. But to get there, we had to take a bus, we got to take a train, and in the end, we got to take a boat. We are starting our Cinque Terre expedition. We're entering town number one. Town Square of Manarola. They keep rocks on the roof so the wind won't blow it away. The grapes have to grow along the terraces because the hills are so steep. Everyone has a boat. We're on the Mediterranean Sea. Arriving from train in the town of Cornelia. The bells are ringing. I've always been a firm believer in earn your reward. And today that was tested when on our tour, our lunch was atop 400 flights of stairs. Here we go. But we made it. Just go. They're waiting for us. They will ask you how many of you want Chicho's. For our lunch, we got to sample some of the local seafood, which included tentacle salad, two types of anchovies, raw mussels, and something else that I couldn't identify. I am glad to have experienced them, but might not recommend every one of the choices. However, we also got to sample some pasta with a homemade pesto sauce, noting that pesto originated in this region. It was no doubt the best that I have ever tasted. Here in Chinguatera, they take great pride in their lemon trees, which is one of their main exports. Look at the lemons! They're huge! From Cornelia, we climbed up two and a half miles, and when I say up, I mean up, to the next town of Vernazza. And the hike was long, but man, it was well worth it. Off to Vernazza. In Italy are olives for the olive oil. In fact, the big ones that we have for the aperitivo, we call them Greek olives because we don't grow them. So it's one of the symbols of the national park, the agave flower. It's a jungle out here. No words. No words. Don't forget to look behind me. And there's our destination. Down there, at the bottom. On our way down to the third city, we happened across a restaurant right, right on the terrace, right on the cliffs. Downtown Vernazza, city number three. You say bruschetta. Vernazza is made up of one street. The beach is at the end, and then the train station's at the other. Of course, I'm at the best end, the one with the beach.
and chips, anyone? We have ordered the flight. This is a sampling of the five wines from the five different um, <laughs> the controlled climate due to the mountains and the Mediterranean Sea make this region very fertile and very ideal for growing flowers. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. As I said earlier, to get there, I rode a bus, I rode a train, heck, I was in a car. Why not finish off with a boat? I bought a, a bunch of, of marble pieces. They were Here comes the sun. <laughs>